Hey guys, my name's Nemo, and we're playing the new Is It Deck Dodge and Burn. Uh, and I'm gonna keep this hand. Now, currently, I'm not playing any of the Kiln Fiends or the uh, Wee Dragonauts because they died to my own mass removal, but uh, I don't know what the best build of this deck is yet, and uh, well, it, we're gonna have to find out. But I'm building it for the late game. And he dropped the forest, which is not something I want to see, because that can make it difficult on me since uh, my removal was mainly burn. So, we'll have to see how this deck can actually deal with uh, a deck that runs big toughness creatures. Um, and a bunch of stuff that uh, actually has regenerate, or uh, hexproof, stuff like that. I'll have to see how this deck can deal with that. Um, I don't have double red for the Volcanic Geyser yet, so let's go over my cards here. I've got a Pongify, Destroy Target Creature, it can't be regenerated. Has he cast its own yet? <laughs> Cause I... Huh. Next creature spell you cast this turn can't be countered by spells or abilities, draw a card. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let that slide. Um, I can still char it. He, he looks to be playing the Elf deck. It's a 4-3 right there. Mm-hmm. That's... Whoa, 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 stop. Look at this. Talara's Battalion, 2 cost Trample, cast Talara's Batal Battalion only if you've cast another green spell this turn. That works pretty well with Insist. <laughs> so we're just gonna char it, 4 damage to it, and um, I take 2 damage in order to deal with it. So the Elf deck is an interesting matchup here. Um, I do have a lot of sweepers, although I haven't drawn one yet. Um, but the Elf deck has a lot of card draw and can easily just keep on um, drawing cards and keep on going. And this deck seems to kind of do the same. It's got an Essence Warden there, which is annoying. And that guy is Hexproof. But I'm gonna hope to draw a Sweeper for it later on. It's gonna put Rancor on it. Okay, so do we just cancel the Rancor? Hmm. Yeah, I think I just cancel the Rancor, because that permanently deals with the Rancor, actually, so... Um, and since you put it on a Hexproof dude, I can't just kill his Hexproof dude in response. Which is unfortunate. Still don't have the double red for Volcanic Geyser here. And I'm probably gonna have to take some damage, but I'm more concerned about him gaining life with Essence Warden, to be honest with you. Um, I'd really like to draw... Okay, that can regen another target elf. It's alright though, I can just kill it. So that's fine, I do need to deal with it though because it can make elves pretty big. But I didn't really want to memory lapse that since I have a burn spell to deal with it. So let's hope we draw something uh, like mass removal or something, but he only has one more card left. And he can't regenerate himself. <laughs> um, but he only has one more card in his hand. So let's hope he just doesn't draw some kind of uh, um, draw spell. <laughs> it can draw more cards. We can stabilize it some more. What's this? That's the Groundbreaker. 6-1 Trample Haste, beginning of the end step. Sacrifice Groundbreaker, so I probably want to just kill that with Volcanic Geyser here. And I'm holding on to my memory lab still. Um, it wouldn't have totally dealt with this uh, card, because memory lapse. 2 cost, counter target instant spell, tar counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, put it on top of its owner's library instead of a player's graveyard. We've got Tongify, destroy target creature, can be regenerated. And he gets a free free green ape. And we have Peak here, which allows me to draw another card and look at his hand. So we're gonna cycle Peak to see what that one card in his hand is. Not ideal, but okay. And it's a heatless one. And we drew Training Walk, which I can't play yet because I just play Peak. Ah, that's a little unfortunate for me. So we have to Draining Walk this, but it's a forecast. He's gonna draw it again, and then I'm uh, Draining Walk it. So now we get a 5 5 Draining Walk because it's a 1 1 by itself and it has Flash and Fly. When Draining Walk enters the battlefield, counter target spell, put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on Draining Walk. Or access that spells convert the mana cost. And we drew the other peak. That's hilarious. 
Now he played his guy first main phase, so let's hope he does that again because then he can't attack me either. Very good. Very good. Now Peak is an instant, so I can wait for him to draw his uh, card, so I can at least see that. Or I can cycle it and if I get something at sorcery speed, I can cast that. But I think I'm just going to wait, at least get to see what that one card is. And most of my stuff isn't at sorcery speed anyways, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Now I've got a 5-5, five five, which is quite nice. What's this? Four cards to reveal the first card you draw each turn. Whenever you reveal a creature card this way, draw a card. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I can't, deal, I can't do anything about that. And there's no point at peeking it since we've already seen it. Um, I'm going to take a little more damage because I can deal with uh, multiple things with Volcanic Fallout. Well, let's just recycle uh, Peek to get another card. We got Cerebral Vortex, which allows me to draw two cards, but take damage equal to the number of cards drawn this turn. So I'm not going to play it now, because if I play it now, I'd take free damage, because I already drew a card with Peak. So I'd rather uh, cast it later, but that means I'm taking two damage from Cerebral Vortex and two from Volcanic Fallout. Which means I probably want to cast Volcanic Fallout this turn to not take more damage from this. Alright, it's just a land, so that's fine. I guess we sort of get the peak at his hand now, so that's that's kind of funny. Okay, Fallout, and oh, I can't cast uh, Cerebral Vortex as well because it's double red to cast. But all right, now we get a mountain, so that that doesn't happen again. So all new cards. He's playing a new deck. I'm playing a new deck. Fun stuff. We got free extra damage here. Um, I can deal free damage to him with this if I so desire because I can target him, make him draw two cards and take damage equal to the cards drawn, but that leaves him at one life. So he draws Heatless 1, uh, that means I can kill him next turn. Sweet. And the other card he still holds is a land if I... No, he, he has... Oh, of course, because he drew another card. From this, okay, so he drew Taunting off as well. Okay, so we're going to just cast this on him and not on me. <laughs> and that means we win the game. We didn't even need to cast Cerebral Vortex or any of these Pongifiers. Um, Pongifier is kind of interesting in the deck. I almost think. Let's GG him. GG! <laughs> he didn't get the chance to read that, oh well. Um, I almost think that Pongifier is better with the Kiln Fiends in there. Um, it does provide a big blocker for the Kiln Fiend, but the fact is um, it, there's more opportunities for Pongify to be relevant when you have Kiln Fiend in there, because you can just cast it to um, make Kiln Fiend bigger. And, and as a one cost spell, that's pretty sweet. So, I guess the same can be said about Peak. Uh, but let's get into another game. Let's find somebody to play against. And we're in game 2 here, where I only have one land. So let's draw a new hand. Still only one land, that's pretty annoying. Okay, this is better. So Earthquake deals X damage to each creature without flying in each player. Remand, interesting counter spell here. Two cost counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, put it into its owner's hand instead of into that. Player's graveyard draw a card. And we have a can of geyser again. And we have a cancel here. Unfortunately I drew a mountain rather than another um, Island, so I won't be able to cast cancel anytime soon. But at least we can cast volcanic geyser. But that's not really a spell you need to cast early. So you obviously want to wait as long as possible with volcanic geyser. He's going to just searing spear me. Um, I'm gonna let that ride. That's fine with me. And I drew electrolyze. So I'm playing the mirror match here, and the mirror match is pretty interesting. Um, uh, Banefire is a very powerful spell in the mirror match because it can't be countered. It's basically the same as this except uh, one less red in its cost. Um, do I wanna... I wanna remand that because currently I don't have enough lands to be able to kill it with Volcanic Geyser. So, Volcanic Fallout also only deals 2 damage. And there's 3 toughness. This also needs more lands to be able to be useful to me, so I need to electrolyze uh, him 
and draw another card to uh, hopefully get some more lands out here and be able to deal with the Wee Dragonauts. Or just draw Searing Spear, I suppose. I want to target him. And I get to draw one card while I deal him two damage. And it's divided, so I can choose. Alright, um, that means that um, I still can't kill that guy. <laughs> That's what it means. Uh, memory Lapse would have been useful to slow him down. So this guy grows whenever he casts an instant of sorcery spell. So even if I counterspell his instant of sorcery, this guy still gets to hit me for free damage. Or for two extra damage, as it were. Um, this doesn't allow me to draw another card, so I'm just going to let it ride. That's fine. I can kill it with anything else. So... If I draw another land here, I can Star Storm and kill both of these guys. So I hope that happens, but it didn't. Hmm, so we, we, we need to... Um, actually, we need to Electrolyze now, so you can't counterspell it. So I want to tap out here, so that... Uh, oh, we got Pongify, which is still not useful in dealing with this guy, because I don't have enough land to deal with a free toughness creature. Amazing. <laughs> so. Um, okay, he passes the turn here, and I draw a land, finally. Okay. So let's see, we've got Kent's already. Um, we've got a few things we can do on his turn. It kind of depends on what he does. If, he just, if he's just content with hitting me for one damage, then um, I'm just gonna uh, kill it at end step, I think, or try to kill it at end step, so he can't cancel in a, uh, in a response or something like that and get a plus two, plus zero on this guy. Alright, so now we play Volcanic Geyser here, and he's going to remand the Volcanic Geyser. And draw a card while returning remand the Volcanic Geyser to my hand, uh, but he has to discard. <laughs> Alright, so I'd have to discard as well if I just wait here and uh, I'd give him the opportunity to counterspell me. So I'm gonna just kill it now while he stepped out. And um, turn 5 is really when I definitely want to have uh, cancel open because that's when he can drop future shy. Which is a 5 cost enchantment for blue, blue, blue 2. And uh, that allows him to look at the top card of his library. And he can then cast or play his uh, the top card of his library, including if it's a land, which would be annoying to me. Um, so we have a pretty full hand here. These volcanic fallouts don't seem like they'd be very useful. And I don't want to peek here because I want cancel to be open, so I'm just going to throw out a volcanic fallout. Um, I was almost thinking maybe throw out the Earthquake instead. Um, there's not a lot of ground creatures that uh, don't already die to Volcanic Fallout in this deck. It's gonna charm me here, which why not just memory lapse that, right? Or at least first let's uh, look at his hand. So I have a more informed decision here. He's got, let's write this down. Remand X2. Fought, Bind, X1, Solve, Blast, X2, Banefire, that's the big one, and Earthquake. Mm, I'm going to Memory Labs, the Char, because I can't counterspell Banefire, so any damage I take here could be too much, and this sets him back because he needs to redraw that spell now. Um, Pongify, not too useful in the mirror match. I may throw one out. At least for now, because a lot of people probably playing this deck. Um, I don't really have anything to do. As long as he just doesn't kill me with pain fire, we can keep counterspelling each other for a long, long time here. So I'm just going to memory lapse this as well. 
I may as well. Memory lapse is in the hard counter anyway, and I do have to cancel. It just slows him down and crawls. We drew opportunity, but I don't have the mana to cast it right now. That's unfortunate. The target player draws four cards. That can definitely help me get some more lands and get to my bane fire faster. Um, so, this time I take the damage. Because it could do something worse than that. Right, so we know he has two remands, a Thought Bind, the Sulfur's Blast times two, Painfire and Earthquake. Um, can I take this opportunity <laughs> to cast Opportunity? Because if, um, if he draws land, Earthquakes for four, then I could be in some serious trouble from the Banefire. Mm, but I have to do it anyways. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to take this opportunity for opportunity and just throw out a bunch of cards, namely, most likely the Pongifies. Uh, hit the land. Uh, yeah, just throw out the Pongifies. I think, and... I don't know, I'm not sure about the reins of power here. Well, yeah, let's throw out reins of power. He's not very likely to... The casting creatures, and from what I've seen in his hand, he doesn't have creatures, but he could draw a huge creature, and uh, then I'd be able to use that against him, but the bigger danger here is the Banefire, for sure. Um, because Banefire can't be countered. And I'd, I'd have loved to have taken the time to uh, show you guys, yeah, there's, there's the Earthquake, for sure. Um, no surprise there, he just wants to get me down low enough that he can uh, kill me. With Banefire, and there's my Banefire, speak of the devil, so it's a sorcery though, but at this point I can do it for 6, which is not bad. Um, so he doesn't have a lot of lands there, so that's that's good for me. Um, okay, there's another land, so you can now Banefire for 4, so any free damage is too much. Let's cycle one of these. Um, yeah, okay, cycle. And I drew land. Okay, so at this point we've got 8 mana, I can do this for 7, which means I need to deal in 5. But with Earthquake and with Volcanic Fallout, I deal the damage to myself as well. Um, so that's not ideal. He only has one mountain though, and he can't cast burn spells with... Oh, dang it, now he can cast two burn spells in a turn. Oh man. That deals free to each player, yeah. I can't, I can't let that happen. Although, actually that deals free to him as well. And then I can bane fire him out, right? Because he's a 10. And then I um, do this, take him down to 8. And I've got the 8. Yes, okay. So, instead we kill him. And he can't counterspell it. There we go. And now we bane fire him for it. GG! Oh, he draws another card there. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, so you can remand. Um, the card, but you'd only just recycle the remand and get another card. You can't actually counterspell Volcanic Fallout or um, Banefire. So, yeah, Banefire, that's the big card for. Uh, he's immediately back. <laughs> Apparently, there's no other game for him. Um, so, I'm just gonna find a game and uh, I'll be back once I have one. Oh, there. Alright, guy, wanna start? Wanna start? Wanna start? <laughs> Alan Vin. There we go. Alright, I guess I don't need to cut that. It wasn't too long. Only one land again. Jeez. What is up with this? So we got a Banefire here. Um, we don't have any counter spell, but we've got both colors of lands. And uh, quite a few lands. Alright, let's just keep this then. And drop myself the island. And uh, light up a cigarette here and clear out my notepad. With the cards the other guy had in hand, when I peeked at his hand. 
So he's... I think that's the mono white deck from the original 10. I keep, I keep wanting to call it Peacekeepers. I don't know why that name comes to my mind here, but uh, it's obviously not Peacekeepers, it's the other one. Well, maybe that's a new deck? Hmm... I don't know, man. It, it's... Okay, no. Nope, it's definitely that deck. Yeah, I was trying to tell based on... Um, this is going to be a mountain, so that I can Volcanic Fallout. And he can only tick it up at 1 this turn. Unless, of course, he drops an enchantment that gives all his guys plus 1, plus 1. In which case, that guy is too big for Volcanic Fallout to kill. So as long as he doesn't have an enchantment to boost up his creatures... My deck is very good at handling all these small guys. But with those enchantments, the story is a little bit different. Ooh, range of power, that's a strong card here. Since I don't run any creatures aside from uh, big six drops. What? Why? Oh right, okay, so... Right, um, now... I either... Um... I either kill that guy now, or kill both his guys. Um, I think it's worth it to just only char now. And I can still pongify his guy later and then kill it with Banefire if it's really a problem. Because of course this guy can grow pretty big pretty quickly. So now it's already a free free. See there's, there it is. Now he's, he's out, that thing is out of Volcanic Fallout range. So maybe I should have Volcanic Fallout, um, or should have played Volcanic Fallout, I don't know, it's hard to say. Um, but I can still deal with it with Banefire. And I guess I, um, I guess I'm kind of forced to at this point. So let's just do it, I'm not close to killing him with range of power yet, I don't want to deal too much damage to me with that thing. And, uh... Still a bonfire open. I guess that's something, right? Alright, there's an honor of the pure. See, that's the enchantment I was talking about that uh, can become a problem for my deck. And... Mm-hmm. I'm gonna play the Terramorphic Expanse and say go here. Hope he plays some stuff main phase. He does. Oh, but it's one of those. Now we got a Volcanic Fallout in response to kill of these. Take two, go down to nine. So I'm at nine, he's at eighteen. I get my land now in case of lag. And I guess. Um, hmm. It's kind of hard to say what I need. I guess I get an island, so I have three of each color of land. Oh, I have four islands here. Oh well, but I have um, a range of power and a power of in hand, so it sort of makes sense. If it just drops 18 power on the board, <laughs> that would be kind of kind of fun for me. He only has two lands out yet so far, so maybe he doesn't have anything. Oh, it certainly looks like it. Yeah. Okay. Well. I don't really have anything to do either. Um, I'm getting a little mana flooded here. I haven't drawn a draw card yet. Oh, that thing is, is bothersome. Um, this only pumps up his white creature, so I could just bonify it. I mean, turn his 3 3 into 3 3 and. There's Fire Blast. That's the last 4 damage I need to deal, hopefully. Hopefully that's what it's gonna be. Um, uh, yeah, I don't want him to gain life. Mm, he's stuck at two mana, so it's not very likely. It's gonna cast something that big that I really need to pound fight, so I may as well pound fight that thing so that he doesn't get to gain life with it. Because I uh, I do need to burn him out eventually. And the champion of the per champion of the parish. 
You're a little late. Hmm. He gets to deal me six damage here. If I don't fire blast something. Kind of Okay, to get a land. Alright. Alright, well. I don't know if that's bad for me. Or good for me. Because <laughs> I do have remand. We're just gonna remand that. When he gets to grab it again, he gets it back into his hand, but I get the draw card. It's like ordering that. And I guess we fire blast away the champion. Because I really just can't afford to be taking free damage. I'm just gonna pay full price here and not sacrifice my mountains, because there's no need for that. And since I have Earthquake in hand, I definitely don't want to be taking the damage there. Problem being, he now has land to play something worse. And I'm just grabbing too much land. Look at this, I've got 10 lands in hand here. Um, dealing with his threats. And not our champion. Wow. That's the third one. There's that mentor of the meek. I guess Earthquake 4. Yeah, oh man, another Earthquake. Jeez. Ah. I mean, I could have Earthquaked for um, 8, and then take myself down to 1, and then hope that he puts down 10 power onto the board, but that's not very likely. Um, oh. 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 <laughs> Okay, well, well now. Range of power, four cost. Untap all creatures you control and all creatures target opponent controls. You and that op opponent each gain control of all creatures. The other controls until end of turn. Those creatures gain haste until end of turn. So let's exchange creatures here. Give me those 15... Oh, dang it, there are only one ones. <laughs> but I can kill them with Earthquake without killing myself here. Yeah. Oh well, didn't even think of that because these obviously don't count for them anymore when they're not when they're not his. Ah, uh, that is disappointing. I thought I had it there <laughs> for a second. Um, Freyben Doomsayer, another threat. I really need to stop drawing lands. I'd like to draw opportunity here. That is not enough to kill his guy. So that means he wins. Jeez. Unbelievable, didn't draw a single draw card here, and I have so many in the deck. Kind of sad, kind of sad. Oh well. Oh well. We can at least... Why not? Let, let's do a rematch against this guy, because hopefully he plays the white deck again. I'm kind of curious to see how these decks uh, work against each other. When both are performing well. Uh, or not. Well, hmm. I guess I'll get another video with Dodge and Burn though. Uh, but that's it for this video. My name's been Nemo. My name will still be Nemo next time. If you enjoyed, and see you next time.